Notifications today are crucial for any kind of app, be it an e-commerce app, an event app, or just a food app. Without cloud notifications, you won't be receiving the potential user engagement. And well, without that, you won't be able to. I mean, unless, of course, you are. So let's get started with Firebase Cloud Notifications. Okay, so I saw a few tutorials while I was researching and all of them were very complex. Hence, I tried to make this one as simple as possible for you. So we will be doing this in a very simple way in a, in a stepwise manner. Let's see. First step will be your connecting to connecting Firestore to your app. Second, starting up cloud notifications. Third, while the app is open, notifi notifying. And fourth will be when you press your notification, redirecting to a certain page. Okay, so let's start this step one. That is connecting Firestore to your app. And if you want to. If you want to go skip skip some step, the duration will be provided in the description box. Go to Firestore and add a project. Enter your project name. Continue. Okay, now in your project, go to Android Manifest and copy your package name. So here mine is com.carelessconders.notificationdemo. Let me click on this Android icon and we paste our package name. You can choose to add nickname or not and register app. And download this google services.json and make sure it has the right name and not google services one so i'll rename it Then in your project android app directory, paste this file. Okay, next we have to add these files in our build.gradle of app directory and project directory both. Okay, let's run the app. Let's wait for the installation to be verified.
ओके इट्स वेरीफाइड Our app is connected. Uh, if you were facing any problem connecting to it, just uninstall the app from your device and run again. Okay, let's move on to setting up cloud notifications. In the Firestore console, go to the cloud messaging. Here, let's click on send your first message, and this is how it will look like. But first, we let's add the required code in the app. So install. We need to install this package Firebase Messaging, and uh, let's install it. Dependency. Here are a few steps that are required to do. First, in our app level build dot gradle, we add this dependency com dot google dot firebase for the latest version. Let's add this. Let's change it to latest version. Okay. Next, we will copy this code. Where is it? Yeah, this one intent filter. Copy this and we will paste this inside Android app SRC main Android app SRC main Android main Excel. Yeah. We paste this just before the activity end tag. Okay. Next, we need to make variable of Firebase messaging because we need to initialize the service. And we need to make this a stateful widget because we will be initializing the code inside our init state. messaging dot configure okay and this code is in your package so we will copy it from there this one first we will copy this one start, start at top level so this will be outside the class we will just copy this Then we will copy the code that will be inside configure and it will have three messages on message on background and on resume. Okay, delete this show item dialog, it's not required for now. Okay, now we need to add this application dot Java class to our app, and then we need to copy all this code. So let's make this in the directory app name Android app src main. Okay, src Java Kotlin. Okay, you will find it inside Kotlin, and then your package name, and then main activity. 
make this new class application.java and here we copy all this code let's copy this okay then we need to do this uh, at, in our android manifest change this to application yeah like this, this is important okay so the error that you just saw is coming because of an issue with the with this package and if you are doing this at the time when it is not yet been updated then you will most definitely run into it so but don't worry i there was a quick fix that i found on the stack overflow here you will have to just replace the the code that is in your application.java file this code replace it with the code provided here and also make sure to import this in your application.java okay So our coding part in the project is done for the step 2. Now let's move on to the Firebase console and let's try sending our first notification. Okay. Let's put the app in background then select your package now. Okay, one week will be good publish and there you can see the notification here let's close the app and see if it works when the app is not in memory okay let's duplicate this change something okay, let's change this to smiley hmm. okay next same same okay publish Here you can see that we are still being notified while the app is open, while the app is closed. Let's try sending notification now while the app is running. Let's run it. Okay. Here you can see the on message gets triggered now since the app is open and you can you can see your title and body but there is no notification coming so you don't get notified while the app is open. However if you don't want your notification to be lost when the user is running your app let's see how we can use it. So there are two or three ways of doing this that I could found uh, first one would be you could use the message that you are receiving and show it somewhere on the screen on the on the emulator screen your phone you could second one you could use the message 
and trigger our regular notification service like we do without the cloud you can you can go with any of these but they require lots of coding so i found a third simple solution but it's not really a good one you may not like it so feel free to try the others and tell us in the comment section if you found anyone else okay here is the stack overflow fix and the link for the page will be in the description first you import the overlay package Wrap your material widget with the overlay package. Then in your copy on mes on message, in your on message, copy this. Notify while the app is open. Your app is open. Okay. There you can see this is how it will look like you can and you can change the duration to any time you want the next step on clicking navigating to a particular page that will be done in the next video you can find the link in the description as soon as it is uploaded if you have any query you can follow us on instagram at careless coders dm us there and we will be happy to help you